Hello everyone, we are back with another video and in this video we're going to show you guys how to make a custom connector using Mule 4 SDK. So before we jump into the video, I would like to request you guys to please subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out any notifications or videos from us in the future. Use of AnyPoint connectors is to provide connection between a Mule flow with an external system such as database, CRM or any enterprise application really. You can find thousands of connectors on AnyPoint Exchange, which is MuSoft marketplace for connectors, templates, examples, and APIs. In some situations, you may not find the appropriate connector to integrate your systems or the connector you find on AnyPoint Exchange lacks a specific functionality. In that case, custom connector can be very handy. Mule 4 SDK provides you a tailored structure which can be used to build your custom connector. It contains the following elements. It contains components, which is used to perform operations by a given set of parameters. Configuration, it contains configurable set of parameters like config port and base path. Connection provider, it is an interface for creating, disconnecting, connecting with third party interfaces. Parameters, it's the most granular elements on the module used across the framework, like a query on a DB connector. So how you can build a custom connector? These are the steps to build a custom connector. First, you need to make sure that you install the appropriate version of JDK, AnyPoint Studio and Maven. In this video, we are using Apache Maven 3.8.7. The Java version we are using is 11.0.17 and the AnyPoint Studio we are using is 7.14.0. So the first step is to run this following command. As you can see, this is an archetype command for Maven. It basically helps you to create a code template for your MuSoft project. And then you're going to configure the POM XML of the custom project and then import that project in your AnyPoint Studio. After we imported the project in AnyPoint Studio, we're going to modify the template project as per our needs and then add the connector dependency to another project. So let's head into our demo where we are going to build a basic custom connector and we're going to use the custom connector on a project. So before we start, I would like to show you guys AnyPoint Exchange, which is the marketplace for hundreds and thousands of connectors you can find for free on MuSoft. Simply type AnyPoint Exchange and you can see all the assets provided by MuSoft. There are some premium connectors as well, which are based on the subscription you have with MuSoft. But these connectors provided by MuSoft are free to use. And you can simply add the dependencies in your project to use these connectors. So the first step is to check the Java and Maven version. To do that, you go on your command line or terminal and type Java with parameter version. And as you can see, we are using Java version 11.0.17. And similarly, we need to do this for Maven. And the Maven version we are using is 3.8.7. So before we start building our custom connector, we also need to do one check. We need to check our settings.xml. If you don't have settings.xml, you just need to create it in your M2 repository which is usually in your maven home.m2 or config directory. So for me, and I just need to open settings.xml. You just need to make sure that it has org.mule.tools plugin so that maven allows you to execute mule plugins. So after we check our settings.xml, the first command we need to run is Maven archetype. Mule provides Maven archetype that you can use as code templates for your Mule projects. These templates include a set of implementation nodes and to-do pointers that help you to get started quickly. The Mule project archetype helps you generate a tailored project in seconds. So before typing in your first command, make sure you're at the folder that you would like the project to be created at. So for us, I'm going to go in between two mules folder. 
that is on desktop. And here I'm going to run the command. Don't worry, I'm going to provide the commands in the description below. So you can just copy paste. So it's going to ask me certain set of questions. So the first question, it asks me to enter the name of the extension. So I'm simply going to type between two mules demo. Then it's going to ask me the extensions group ID. I'm going to type in com dot between two mules dot mule connector. Then it's going to ask me the artifact ID. I'm simply going to type in custom demo connector. For the version, I'm going to go with 1.0.0. For the extensions main package, I'm just going to type in org.mule.extension.demo. So this will create a project for us to use in AnyPoint Studio. So this is the folder that got created. As you can see, it contains the pom.xml and the source folder. So pom.xml just contains the information about the project. As you can see, the name is between two mules demo ex space extension. Make sure you remove the space. Otherwise, the project will not build and hit on save. If you would like to add certain dependencies, you need to mention those dependencies in the POM. So the dependencies will be downloaded before importing the project in AnyPoint Studio. So I'm in the project now. And now I'm going to type in the second command, Maven Eclipse Clean Eclipse Eclipse. So the purpose of this command is to make sure that all the desired dependencies are in our local repo and make the project ready to import in AnyPoint Studio. Build is successful and the project is ready to be imported in AnyPoint Studio. So let's open AnyPoint Studio and try to import this project in our workspace. I'm just going to go in file and click on open projects from file system and in the directory i'm just gonna click on custom demo connector which was the connector that we just built if you see the custom demo connector if you open it up and if you go in source main java you can see the name of the main package which we typed for our first command and in the package you can see a skeleton already created by Mule4SDK. As you can see, it has five Java classes. The first Java class is configuration.java. This contains all the information that you want from the global configuration of the connector. The second Java class is connection.java. This connection class is responsible for handling the connection, followed by connection provider.java. This class is used to manage and provide the connection with the target system. Then we have extension.java. This class identifies the various properties of your connector. This class would identify which is the configuration class, which are the operation classes in your project. And the last but not least, we have operations.java. This is the class where you will define all the necessary operations. So what we're going to do, we're going to open this operations.java because it will contain all the parameters. I don't want to switch to java perspective as you can see it has two parameters one is retrieve info and the second is say hi we're going to utilize this say hi parameter in our project as you can see we have a private method as well which will return hello and the person name that we're going to type in this say hi operation so i'm just going to add one more thing here and save it. One more quick tip I would like to give you guys. So if you go to any point exchange for multiple connectors, you can see these icons, right? Which will pop up. So how can we achieve that as well? It's very simple. So on the main package, what you need to do, you need to create a folder with the name icon. And you need to just pass in the SVG image. In this case, we're going to pass our uh, banner image. So I'm just going to put the icon.svg in icon folder. As you can see, 
it has our banner image between two mules. So after I have done the changes, I need to run the third command. So the third command we are using is maven install with the parameter skip test. We don't, we don't want to test our connector. This command basically deploy the connector to your local repo. As you can see, the command was successful as well. And now the connector is ready to be used in your project. I'm going to create another mule project with the name test custom connector. And in the form XML, I would like to add my custom connector dependency. So in the dependencies section, I would like to add my custom connector dependency. So I'm going to go ahead and save this pom.xml and you can see the custom connector dependency was added in my project. I'm going to open my flow. I'm just going to drag a scheduler. I can see my custom connector here between two mules demo and it has two operations, a retrieve info operation and say hi operation. I'm going to use the say hi operation for now. And I'm just going to type in my name. And after that, I just would like to log the payload. I'm going to add the breakpoint here and I'm going to debug the project. So as you can see, the flow is stopped here because we have a breakpoint. So when we step into as you can see, now the payload is Hello Shubham from Between Two Mules. This is how you can use a custom connector in any project. A quick note, if you would like people to use your connector, you would need to publish it on Exchange. For that, you need to update your connector pom.xml by providing your org's group ID and cloud hub configurations. If you would like us to cover that part, please like this video, comment down below, and we will take care of your request. Thank you for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.